Hi guys, it's Neil from Tights TV. Today I've got Caleb on. Uh, we're going to be discussing Swansea game coming up. Uh, a few games coming up with it being a bank holiday, so everybody's ready for a break and away from school or away from work. So it's great to have Caleb on. So, uh, Caleb, sorry. Uh, so, Caleb, uh, obviously not great results uh, last couple of games. What do you think? You know, that's it for us now. Barnsley is are we relegated, Caleb? Yeah, we're definitely going down because I don't think we have a chance against Swansea. Yeah. I mean, against Millwall, <laughs> I think a few people were holding up with a bit of rope uh, that we might have just managed to get some out of it. But when we lost 4-1 there, and you look at games what we've got coming up like now, Swansea, we know about Swansea from last season at playoffs for a, a pretty good side, aren't we really, to be fair, Swansea? Um would you, if you were in charge of Barnes, if you were manager of Barnes and Arkelem, would you make any changes for that game? Um, I don't know why, but I don't know why Matty Wolf didn't go on. Hmm. I would definitely put Matty Wolf on. Hmm. I think he's the right player, me. So you must be happy then, uh, because I don't know if you know, but it's been announced that uh, Matty Wolf has signed a two-year contract. So he's stopping on longer at Barnsley. So that got announced. I went to Q and A meeting on Wednesday. I think it was what, Tuesday, Wednesday. A lot of track of days because I've been on different shifts and that. Oh no, sorry, it was Monday. I think Monday. Yeah. So sorry, guys, I've been on shifts and that. So it got announced that Matty Wolf has signed a two-year extension. So do you think he's a player that's going to be do well for Barnsley for next season or so, Caleb? I think he will be like <coughs> better in League One. Like I think it will be like easier for him because we're playing some good teams in the Championship. Like, that's true. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, like you said, a good point. I mean, he came in um, halfway through the season because he's been out on loan to other clubs, but he's come into that midfield, and I think he's he looks. What can I say? He looks confident. He looks established, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, so obviously, Caleb, you, you'd be likely to see Matt Wolf start. Would you give any of the players a change? Would you give him a rest, or would you more or less keep it as it is? Probably keep it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just, I don't... just make the defenders work more hard. Yeah, um, good point about defenders, and that's going to, I was going to lead on to the question as well. Goalkeeper, because it looked like Brad Collins picked up an injury because Walton came on, so. Uh, what what what's your thoughts on on Walton, Jack Walton? Do you think he's a decent goalkeeper? Do you think he's a, a good number two? No, I don't think he's a good goalie. I think I just need um thing uh, Collins in net. Mm. I think we Collins is more been used to that sweeper keeper role when we were under <clears> Ishmael <throat> once, so it might be a bit different for. Uh, Jack Walton uh, playing back position, back role. But again, he played against Millwall. It's going to be a tough game for him, as well as all players against Swansea tomorrow. Um, I don't know what you think about this, Caelan, but I'm, what I'm wanting me is what can I say? I'm wanting to see a bit of urgency. I want to see a bit of spirit against Swansea because I think against Millwall, we didn't really. We didn't, I won't say bother, but we didn't really look up for it against Millwall. No, they just stopped playing for the manager. Mm, good, good point. Yeah, a few people have said that to me, actually, saying, are they actually playing for the manager? They just don't look interested. Yeah, I don't think they look interested. Like, last match, when the muzzles in, like, 1-0, they just, like, got their heads down, didn't try. Mm. And that's, it's not good times, that. Good, well, good signs as well, but, <coughs> that... When you, you know, if you go 1-0 up or, you you know, you concede early, you want to go on and, and fight. I mean, I know Palmer scored that uh, goal and I think we might have been a bit of rope there, but we could have got a result, but we didn't. We just seemed to, that was it. it just, the game just seemed to go by, didn't it? Yeah. Still, do you know, even though Palmer scored that goal, I still mm. don't think he's a great player. I've no, true. Yeah. True. Uh, I know that uh, there were a few questions got asked, like saying, well, oh, how come Palmer started in front of Matty Wolf, like what you were saying earlier? 
and apparently he had a good training session <clears throat> and uh, Matty Wolf into back with a game. So someone jumped on and said, well, really, the rest of the team have been playing back well, so he could drop out the team. You can't just take one player out. You know, Matty Wolf, he might not have a best of game, but he still can't just drop just like that. Um, so, yeah, good point back with, with Palmer. I think he's out of contact. He's the best of the game, Matty Wolf, but he can do better than, like, Palmer in some it's of the midfielders. Yeah, he's still learning, isn't he? Still a young kid, Matty Wolf. Um, so a good point made by Caelan Veer with Matty Wolf and Palmer. Good comparison there. But so taking that into account, when Caelan, would you more or less keep rest it side as it is then, and just replace Palmer for Matty Wolf? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you think Swansea will be an hard challenge for us when we go to Wales? Yeah, I think that will be a hard, very hard challenge, but I think we can, like, push through it. Like, mm -hmm. not, like, get battered, just, like, just, game like, push through it, yeah. That's all we want, isn't it? Compete and game again, because you never know. If 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 you're still in it and you, you're competing against them, who knows, you could get a free kick, you could get a penalty, you could get a set piece, a corner. So... You've got to give a game, you've got to match them like for like, haven't you? So, let's have a look now. So, we've pretty much agreed that it's going to be an hard game against Swansea. We've agreed that we're not really going to mess about with the team that much. <coughs> Probably Walton will be in for Collins if he's injured. Caelan, if they want to see Michael Wolf instead of Romal Palmer. Rest it side, we'll just keep it as it is. Uh, so, it goes on to score predictions then, Caelan. What, you know? What do you think the score will be? I still, because I don't think we'll get battered, but I think we can push for it like 2-1 or 2-0. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And who, who do you think score for, you know, scores for Barnsley will be? Who would you like to see? I'd probably like to see Vita because he's like a good player, but I don't think he scores that much for us. Hmm. Yeah, probably do him good for confidence and that because he, he always look, seems to be up for it. But, you know, when, when we've won and he's up, well, he always seems very happy and, you know, really buying into it. I know he's like on loan, but on about Vita, then would you, I know we've got him on loan, Vita, would you like to, for Barnsley, if it were possible to sign him in summer and to be a Barnsley player then, uh, Caelan? Yeah, I would sign a lot of our players. I, I want Queen or Ambassy, yeah, they're mm. good players. And and obviously you're thinking in League One, you know that bit of quality because we do need some quality inside, don't we? But it's going to help balance the out in the cause and into you need quality players, don't you? Yeah. I'm going. I think it's going to be a draw tomorrow. I'm saying I think it's going to be. I don't know why, but I'm just hoping that there's going to be some kind of reaction from you know losing form against Millwall. And we need to be like a bit of a kick up backside, you know, and say, look, we need a bit of performance, a better performance. We need to actually give him a game. Uh, Swans has always been hard. Mm, I'm going to say, I want to say, I want to say 2 2. I'm going to go for a draw, 2 2. Um, That's what I thought at first, but I've changed my mind, of course. I just think we have a bit of a chance, but. Not mm. good enough to win. Mm. Yeah. Not. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'm going 2 2. Obviously, I want to, a Barnes a win. We all want Barnes a wins. But I mean, as long as it goes on, we've got we've got Swansea to, uh, tomorrow. And then we've got uh, Peterborough on Monday. So we've got two quick games there straight away, haven't we? So um, I think if we, if we lose tomorrow, and depending on your looking and reading result, I think come next week and Barnes, you know, more or less mathematically be relegated kind of thing. I think everybody's like come to a conclusion of that. So Caelan's uh, score prediction, my score prediction. Guys, if you're watching this, please like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments below. You might agree with me. You probably might agree with Caelan. I think you probably agree with Caelan and like to see more of Matty Wolf. Um, appreciate you having on, Caelan. I've appreciated it, mate. We'll get you on again soon. Um,
get your thoughts for another game and see how we've played. I'll be one we might have a bounce of win, but you never know. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So, Caleb, it's been great to have you on. One thing left to say, you Reds.